Well guys, I've put off body work in this cab for two months. So I guess it's time that we get started. But it's okay, it's gonna be fun. Nope. No, it's gonna be bad, all bad. Just wanted to take a second to say thank you guys so much. I set a goal to hit a thousand, well hello, a thousand subscribers last year. And I did it right before the end of the year. So just thank you guys so much for uh, tuning in and, and sticking with me through the year. Uh, yeah, so let's get back to the video. All right, so several months ago, I picked up this cab. And the first thing I did was cut out the transmission tunnel and replace it with this 4x4 transmission tunnel. Uh, and the reason I did that is because for, the, for those of you that are just now tuning into this channel, we're doing a... Duramax and Allison 1000 swap into the C20 and the Allison 1000 transmission uh, there'd be all kinds of interference issues with the stock floor so I had to go with the 4x4 transmission hub so right now it's just tech screwed in kind of temporarily and my goal today is to get this completely welded in and seam sealed um, also we're gonna we got to do a little rust repair as well so let me show you that real quick oh I can see all the way through there boop, 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 boop. <laughs> there is a little bit of rust in this cap corner right here, as you can see. It's a little soft. That feels pretty solid up there. That all feels pretty solid. So it's like this one spot right here. And then there's another little tiny spot on the back right here. So I have this patch panel right here. So I think I'm just gonna probably cut out this section right here and yeah, replace it. Yeah, it's a little soft right in here. So, I mean, I have the other patch panel and there's a big dent right here. So I might as well do this one too. Okay, so two patch panels. Two patch panels. Two. I'm gonna stop beating on this thing. Thanks. Because I'm gonna, probably gonna find more rust. <laughs> all right, first thing I'm doing is taking out all these tech screws. So I can get this guy kind of lined up where I want it. All right, let's go up underneath real quick. All right, looking underneath this guy, I probably cut a little bit too much out when I was originally fitting this thing up. You can see there's quite a bit of space here so what i'm gonna probably have to do is make some relief cuts like maybe one right here one up here one in this corner and maybe like one down here and then use the hammer uh, and dolly to hammer this in to where it meets up with this edge right here probably what we're gonna have to do Looks pretty good. Looks like I only really needed to make these two here. This is all actually pretty close and it should, should give enough whenever I go to hammer it in. Cool, well, let me get this put back and uh, tech screwed in and then I'll grab the hammer and we can start folding this in to make it a tighter fit. Had to bring out the big guns.
All right, I got the cab hammered out uh, good enough, I think. We'll see. So now I'm going to just clean up all the edges to get ready for uh, Zeus and this guy in here. So I have all the edges cleaned up, so I'm going to hit it with this weld through primer. Uh, once I'm done with that, I need to do the same thing on the actual cab and then we'll be ready to start welding this guy in. All right, while that's drying, I'm gonna move on to the cab. All right, so all of the edges are cleaned up and everything is coated with the uh, weld through primer. So I'm gonna get the transmission tunnel back in place, uh, zip it in real quick with some of these tech screws, and then we'll get to welding. It's actually a really tight fit all the way around, so I should have no issues uh, getting that welded in. Sweet. It's time to start welding this thing, so while I'm doing that, enjoy some time lapse. I think we can all be honest with each other here and agree that I'm not gonna be winning any trophies for the best looking welds. But that's okay because I'm almost positive that they are at least structurally sound, which is all I really care about. So I'm gonna get all this cleaned up and I'm gonna put some seam sealer on it and then we're never gonna talk about it again. So let me do that and we'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and seam sealed the underside of the cab Give you a better shot of it there. Stuff is super thick, but it's still uh, brushable, which is nice. And I took the brush and kind of put a little texture to it to match the underbody texture. I'm, I'm actually going to spray the whole underbody with a truck bed, truck bed liner. So you're never going to see that anyway, but I figured what the hell. We're going to go ahead and move to these cab corners. So I've already ground away the paint to kind of see, you know, how far the, uh, the rust goes, and it's a relatively small spot, which is good. A little spot on the back here. And on the other side, initially I didn't think there was any rust, but you can kind of see it starting to poke through right there. So I'm gonna make the same cut on both sides and go ahead and get those pieces replaced. So let's get started on that. All right, so I've made my cut here. So now I need to drill out one, two, three spot welds and dig out this seam sealer out of the seam in here. And then I should be able to work this piece out. I'm using a special spot weld drill bit here. These things are pretty great. What this drill bit does is it drills around the spot weld instead of through the panel. So whenever this top layer comes off, you still have something to weld to when you put the new piece on. Should be able to use my screwdriver to pop this guy loose now. Uh, 
That side's loose already. There we go. A little bit of rust underneath. All right, and there's the piece. It's actually not that bad underneath. That should clean up just fine. Just started raining pretty good outside, so I apologize if it's noisy. So I got my replacement piece here and the piece that we just cut out. So what I'm gonna do is Use the old piece to kind of trace where I need to cut this new piece. Just use my paint marker. All right. Let's cut this guy out. I don't know. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. I'm gonna cut it and try to leave that white line there. Uh, it's way easier to cut more material than try to put it back if you cut too much. So, where are we with the cab? A couple months ago, I did start work on this. Uh, the first thing I did was this transmission tunnel. So this is a two-wheel drive cab. So it had the super low transmission tunnel, which would not clear uh, the bell housing on this Allison 1000 transmission. So what I had to do was go find a transmission tunnel out of a four x four truck and get it welded in here. Did a little bit of work on the underside too. So I seam sealed all the seams so we wouldn't worry about, or we don't have to worry about water getting in. And I sprayed a little bit of underbody coating and that was just because I was super curious on you know what it would look like. And if that's what I wanted to do for the entire underbody, which it is. So my goal is to get everything underneath here cleaned up and get the firewall cleaned up so I can get that painted and underbody coated so we can put the cab back down on the frame. All right, there's a lot of like random screws and stuff in here. So I'm gonna get all these taken out. Wow, I guess the right size. First try, I don't ever do that. So yeah, like I was saying, I'm gonna remove all these random screws and whatnot. Get all these rubber grommets and pass throughs all taken off and then I'm gonna hit this with the death wheel and knock off all this rubber insulation stuff that's on here. God, it's so long. Why are you so long? Oh, never find that. Why did I make this so high? Come, why? How about I need another cold snack? Much better. Oh, this one's really in there. There we go. Definitely a whole lot of self tappers in here. I don't know, you know, what came from the factory and, and what didn't. So, I guess we'll figure it out. All right, time for the loud stuff. Just realized I'm flinging stuff over my, what? Oh. Helps if you turn it on. Let me get this covered up real quick. Really hard to tell if this truck was black to start or gold to start. Definitely looks like it was maybe black, then gold, and black again. I don't know. All right, 
Slept on some 80 grit. I'm going to continue knocking this down. All right, so we got the cab up in the air and Amanda is working on getting everything cleaned up so that we can spray some of this Duplicolor's uh, truck bed coating on the bottom. Uh, I've used this stuff in the past. It's pretty cheap and pretty easy. Um, so our goal today is to get the underside of the cab uh, completely covered uh, in underbody coating and then maybe even spray some uh, two-part epoxy primer on the firewall so that we can get this cab set back down on the frame so we can do the rest of the body work on the outside. So that's what we're trying to get done today. Let's go. Let's go. The trick to working underneath is to relax your neck. <laughs> relax your neck? Yeah, don't. What does that even mean? Don't. I'm going to steal your light for a second. Steal it. All right, so I already kind of did a little test area up in here with that underbody coating, and the stuff is actually pretty awesome. It covers really good. It has a nice, like, rubbery texture to it. So I think that's going to protect the bottom side from rocks and whatnot. What do you think? Oh, totally. It's going to be great. Nice. Got dad in the shop today as well. Uh, he's currently working on a little bit of body work on this uh, 1999 Jeep XJ project that we got going on. So pretty soon there's going to be an LS going in this guy. I uh, got a couple videos up on the channel on the progress so far on this thing. So definitely check that out too if you want. All right, so we have the uh, underbody cleaned up with brake clean and scratched up with some uh, red uh, Scotch-Brite pads. Uh, so now what we're doing is we're going to run some tape along this pinch weld here. There's another roll of tape in there. What are you trying to say? Yeah. You're trying to say get to work? <laughs> Did I ever tell you guys how much I love body work? Oh my gosh, it's his favorite thing. It's definitely not my favorite thing. How many times have you done body work? I've done body work zero times. <laughs> and, and so far it is not my favorite thing. And will continue to not be my favorite thing. Can you just say that because people on YouTube say that? What do you mean? Oh, it takes so long and... No. Yeah. I've been doing body work for off and on for two months. And by off and on, I mean I started it two months ago, immediately quit, and started again today. <laughs> so... <laughs> so, no, it takes a long time. That's, that's what I've learned. There's got to be someone out there who likes to do that. Is it you? Oh, <laughs> yeah. I wish I had some friends that love to do body work. If you're my friend and you like to do body work, please let me know. Just kidding. I don't have any friends. Aww, that's so sad. <laughs> or our friends all live in other states, other cities, or other countries, actually. Yeah. Like also, why am I using like one inch tape? <laughs> I told you. I know, we need to get like tape. bigger tape. <laughs> I just like doing things the hard way. Okay. Bottom is all clean, ready to go. Uh, we taped up the firewall, which had already been like sanded and, and ready for, uh, for primer. So I didn't want to get any of this on that. So let's make it black. Oh, <laughs> come on. <laughs> This thing sometimes definitely uh, sprays better than the last can did. That's for sure. I think I had that last can for at least a year. So I'm just kind of putting a little tack coat on it right now. Yeah, like smashing this button down. Maybe I'm just a weenie. <laughs> Is it like smashing the like button? Yeah, smash that like button. What's happening over there? Snack time. It's snack time. <laughs> I got some bunny gummies. You got some fake pizza donuts. 
Chili lime puff snacks. All right, check it out. I'm actually pretty impressed by this rattle can stuff. So this is the truck bed coating from Duplicolor and it leaves this little bit of uh, like textured finish. I'm sorry, like dry to the touch and it's only been like 15 minutes, which is pretty cool. So it only took me about two and a half cans to cover the entire underside of this cab, which is pretty cool. Um, excellent coverage. So yeah, looks really good. Super happy with it. All right, guys, well, that's gonna do it for today's episode. Uh, I say today's episode, but it's actually been like two months in the making. Uh, so what did we do? We did the transmission tunnel, seam sealed that up, did a little bit of body work on the cab corner, uh, got the firewall all sanded down, ready for primer, and got the underbody coated. Um, I know earlier I said that I wanted to get this in paint, the firewall, so we could set it down on the frame but I think that's creating more work for me. So new plan, I'm going to, on the next episode, we'll finish all of the sanding on the cab and get that in primer. Uh, and when that's done, then maybe we'll set it on the frame. Or maybe at that point I'll go, well, it's already in primer and Bondo and all that stuff. Maybe we just paint it and then set it on the frame. I don't know what's gonna happen, okay? Uh, so yeah, anyway, thanks for sticking around and I'll see you on the next one. Oh, hey. Damn it. <laughs>